What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about American Silver Eagles and generic silver bars and which one I believe makes more sense to be stacking right now at this current point in time. But really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there, go check it out. The link will be in the description. Trying to hit 2,000 subscribers. And if you want to help support the channel by getting some DYDSS merchandise, of course we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products, t-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations. And of course the brand new Kraken Stackin t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug inspired by the beautiful two ounce silver Kraken coin. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance, it's more than appreciated. But today I wanna to talk about silver eagles and generic silver bars, and I guess you can say generic silver rounds as well. Now this was a question that was asked just earlier today. And I wanna talk about some of the facts, I wanna talk about some of my opinions in terms of both the Silver Eagle, the coin, and generic silver rounds and bars, and which one I believe makes the most sense for this particular point in time. Now, this was inspired by a question that was asked just a couple minutes ago on my Instagram live stream. If you guys did not catch it, I will be including a small piece of it towards the very end of today's video. So if you hang out until the video is over, I'll roll some clips from the Instagram live stream. But the short answer to the question is that normally I would say the Silver Eagle. And by normally, I mean for pretty much my entire two and a half years of stacking minus these last couple months. The answer to the question would have been the Silver Eagle. Which one I prefer? Which one I think is the smarter move? Which one I would maybe not necessarily recommend, but which piece of silver would I think is smarter, more intelligent, or a better idea to stack? Right now, these last couple of months, unfortunately, the tables have turned a little bit, and I believe that generic silver might be the way to go for the time being, at least temporarily. That's the short answer to the question. The explanation to my answer will be throughout the rest of today's video. So, quick little backstory. When I first started stacking silver, I got started with just some generic silver rounds. That's really it. Shortly after I switched on over to Silver Eagles, I consider it graduating onto Silver Eagles, and I believe that it was a better idea. I believed that stacking a pure silver coin is better than stacking a pure silver round or bar. Now, that's just my opinion, and that opinion still stands. I still believe coins are better than rounds or bars. Both are great, both are silver, silver, silver at the end of the day, this Silver Eagle right here is one troy ounce. This generic Silver Bar over here is one troy ounce. So at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter because silver is silver. However, I do truly genuinely believe that coins are a little bit smarter, a little bit better, and there's a couple of reasons why I say that. For example, coins typically have a higher level of trust, a higher level of respect. People are able to recognize silver coins far more than they are to recognize silver bars. Now, if you're working with somebody who does not recognize a silver bar or somebody that doesn't have a method of testing it or a method of proving if it's real, if they're trying to pick it up off of you, then it's probably somebody who doesn't really understand precious metals to begin with. But to everyone else, I don't believe it matters all that much, but Here's the thing. I consider the Silver Eagle the coin that I wanted to stack for two main reasons. Number one, it's the coin of my country. I say it all the time. I believe stacking the coin of your country, or the pure silver coin of your country for that matter, making it the foundation of your stack, if that makes sense. If I lived in Canada, I'd be stacking the Canadian Maple Leaf. If I lived in Mexico, it'd be the Libertad. If I lived in Australia, it'd be the Kangaroo. 
I would be stacking the coin of my country regardless of where I am. But fortunately for me, I'm blessed and lucky enough to be an American, and the American Silver Eagle is the pure silver coin of my country. So that's the coin that I'm going to stack. That just makes the most sense to me. That's just my opinion. It's subjective. You might not agree with it, but here's the good news. You don't have to agree with it. The other reason was because I consider the Silver Eagle to be the overall superior pure silver coin. If you were to put the Silver Eagle up next to the Maple Leaf, the Libertad, the Panda, the Britannia, any other coin out there, all the pure silver, one troy ounce silver coins, or I guess the Panda would be a 30 gram coin rather than a troy ounce, but point being, I would say that the Silver Eagle takes the win. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't believe that it blows all the other ones out of the water. I believe most of those other coins that I just listed, aside from the Silver Eagle, are very close seconds. I would say that most of them, if not all of them, tied for second place. But the Silver Eagle, it just has a significantly higher level of notoriety, trust, respect, desire. Its ability to be recognized outweighs all the other coins' abilities to be recognized. But here's the thing. Silver Eagles right now, even though the premiums used to be very fair prior to just a couple months ago, when spot price was, let's just say, $13, $14, $15, $16, $17, dollars, whatever it was over the last two and a half years, Premiums on Silver Eagles have been, at least for me, about $2, maybe $2 and change, maybe $3, depending on who I'm getting it from. Point being is that the premiums on Silver Eagles, they were fair. I consider them to be fair. Not much higher than the premiums on Silver Maple Leafs or even generic silver. I was happily paying a little bit more currency because it was barely much more at all. I was happily paying a little bit more to get my hands on the Silver Eagle because it was barely even a difference. Right now, times have changed. Silver Eagles, with the spot price being only like $23, $24, Silver Eagles going for like $34, $35, $36. Bucks. Who knows? Maybe in a couple days, the Silver Eagle is going to be going for over $40. While generic silver, on the other hand, Sure, the premiums have been cranked up a little bit, but they are nowhere near the premiums on Silver Eagles. Like I said, the Silver Eagles going for like 35 bucks. Generic silver rounds and bars are going for 26, 27, 28 bucks. Not that big of a difference, but it's a several dollar amount difference. And even though generic silver isn't as recognizable as the Silver Eagle or really any coin out there, you could get generic silver that comes from a very reputable mint. For example, it doesn't have to be this random silver flag bar, which by the way, doesn't even have the name of a mint on it. All it says is one ounce, three nines fine silver with a flag on the other side. Doesn't say anything. Doesn't say where it's from. Doesn't say who minted it. Doesn't say anything. But if you were to go with a sunshine minting product, everyone knows what the sunshine bar is. Everyone knows what sunshine minting is. And what's even cooler than that is that these have proof of authenticity on the back. That blank circle that you see right there, that is proof of authenticity. If you have the decoder lens, all you have to do is put it on top of that and it'll say the word valid. So you can prove that it's real just with a little lens that fits in your pocket or fits in your wallet, which I think is an incredibly smart security feature. And the cool thing about Sunshine is that it's not just five ounce bars. You can get 10 ounce bars. You can get bars larger than 10 ounces. I personally don't have any silver at all above the 10 ounce increment, but it doesn't have to be a large silver bar as well. It could be a smaller silver bar. I used to have a one ounce 
Silver Sunshine Bar, but I picked it up specifically to give to somebody as a present. I do have one ounce Silver Sunshine rounds. They are unfortunately locked away in my safe at the moment, but I do happen to have a half Troy ounce Silver Round right here. So you can get them half ounce. I'm pretty sure you can get them at quarter ounce, potentially even 10th ounce. I probably wouldn't recommend that though, but one ounce, half ounce, five ounce, 10 ounce, or beyond. Sunshine Minting, they have a lot of different denominations. And if you get the Mint Mark SI ones, they have the proof of authenticity on the back. All you need is that little decoder lens and you're good to go. So for the time being, I think that generic silver rounds and bars are probably the way to go just because you just break down the premium a little bit. Of course, they always had a lower premium than silver coins in the first place, but now it's much more noticeable. It's not just a couple of pennies anymore. It's not just maybe a dollar, maybe a dollar 25 anymore. We're looking at a four, five, six, seven, eight dollar difference. So anything you can do right now to bring the premium down is probably a better idea, is probably ideal. And while we're on the topic of doing anything in our power to break the premium down, it kind of makes me want to add one more point to what I was just saying about the larger denomination silver bars, because typically the larger the silver bar, the lower the premium is going to be. It's typically a lot cheaper from a fiat perspective to convert your dollars into one big block of silver as opposed to multiple smaller pieces of silver. For example, if you were to get 100 one troy ounce silver bars, it's probably gonna run you a higher dollar amount than if you were to get one 100 troy ounce silver bar. And that's kind of another good example of why generic silver rounds and bars could be better in that area as well because the Silver Eagle, for example, you can only get those in one troy ounce. There's only one option. So there's not a whole lot you can do about that. But when it comes to silver bars, you can get larger denominations. I know I said I don't have anything above 10 troy ounces, but if you were to get a 10 troy ounce bar or potentially larger than that, a 20 troy ounce bar, maybe a kilo bar, maybe a 50 ounce bar, maybe a 100 ounce bar, if you have the currency to do that, and if that's something you're willing to do, it's definitely an option because the premium is nine times out of 10 going to be significantly lower than getting multiple small pieces of silver. So that's just my opinion. I'm curious, what are your opinions? Let me know in the comment section down below. And do not forget, I will be including a little bit of Instagram live footage at the very end of the video. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to subscribe. New videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there, go check it out. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit 2,000 subscribers and we just hit 1,000, I appreciate that. And if you wanna help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products, t-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations. And of course, the brand new Kraken Stackin' t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug inspired by the beautiful two ounce silver Kraken coin. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance, it's more than appreciated. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know what is your opinion on everything that I shared in today's video. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Are you still stacking the Silver Eagle even though the premiums are higher? Maybe you never stacked the Silver Eagle. Maybe you've always been on the generic silver train. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace and enjoy the Instagram live stream footage. What up, what up? Instagram land. The storm is here. I did not promote this quick little live stream. I don't plan on being live for very long, but yesterday's video was titled, A Storm is Coming. I didn't mean an actual storm. When I said a storm is coming, I was referring to silver and the spot price potentially doing crazy things. Yet here we are, not even 24 hours later, with what appears to be 
or appears to resemble rather, a miniature hurricane almost here in New Jersey. The storm is here, but I have some pretty cool news for those of you who care. Yesterday I started receiving some of the things that I ordered. I have some of those things right here. Micro SD card, some tools, some lens covers. I am in the process of building the coolest GoPro rig you have ever seen. And it's going to be absolute mayhem once everything has arrived. And on days like this, where it's storming, where it's raining, where the weather's really bad, or if I decide to take it in the water, that's what the GoPro is for. I don't even know if my phone camera is doing it justice, how crazy this wind is. Look at that up there. Welcome to New Jersey, everybody. This is what's going on right now. The storm is here. We got my dog over here as well. Come here. Hey, YouTube's favorite dog. When I was inside before I came out here, I noticed that my power started to flicker a little bit so I don't know how or if that's going to interfere with today's video at all but I plan on filming that probably in the next couple of minutes and I'll try to edit through it as quickly as possible and schedule it to post for 5 30 p.m. Eastern so that way I can for sure get the video out in time. Can't upload YouTube videos if you don't have power, so. Should my next purchase be bars or Silver Eagles? You know, I couldn't tell you. I can't tell you what to do. But for me personally, I say.